They would mark it as that. No, no, Riggs is here. So, uh, Gunsmoke doing a good job taking over Riggs. Yeah. Pretty much as expected so far. Nothing really big so far. Your usual suspects. Pokemon the trainer. Hmm. But uh, now that we're in winners round three, we're gonna see some uh, some crazier matches, you know. So Solcer with the trainer, Omnis Grace with the Belmont. Let's get into this. Ooh, all right. So that uh, withdraw going to catch the landing. Both of them playing pretty uh, pretty safe here. Nothing too crazy yet. But this is a chance for Solcer to get some sort of combo going. He's going to wait that out. Ominous Grace going for um, some risky stuff there. What do you think the overall matchup is? I have no idea. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to say this is that Squirtle is very small as well as very agile. And I feel like that's something that... I think that negates a lot of experience. Yeah, his, especially his whip. Um, because it's a very precise tool that he has. Because you can low profile. Yeah, you gotta hit your, uh, what's the word, your uh, down-angled bears and bears a lot more. And you might have to wait longer before using them, you can't really do the rise. Or I guess you could do the rising. But uh, Ominous Grace, keeping this very close, Solcer is a is a really good player. Right? I'm not wrong about that. I'm not, I'm not, uh, quite sure about his results, but Ominous Grace keeping him in the air here, juggling him. The back air not gonna kill yet, it is Charizard. Yeah, so Omnis Grace gonna take that first stock. Solcer is uh, seated to win this, but Omnis Grace making this look pretty competitive. Great use of holy water to uh, get out that withdraw. They're gonna catch him, but not gonna really lead to much, just help him get out of disadvantage. I think the Ivysaur, um, another thing, he's got those projectiles that uh, will give Belmont a bit of trouble. Yeah, like there. Yep. In that close quarters where the whip is. You can kind of set up a little bit of a loop with that. <laughs> wow, that went straight to ledge. All right, good wait out from Soul Sir. Oh, he also has the, um, so he's gonna take that first stock from uh, Omnis Grace. He has the tether grab. Or not a tether grab, but it, it, it's a disjointed grab. So it allows um, him to go for stuff like, you know, grabbing uh, Ominous Grace out of F-Tilt. I might try that with Yoshi. I haven't thought about that. Oh, he's going to miss the forward smash. That would have definitely killed. This might be a little problematic. Uh, Solcer stunning. These combos, he's going to mess up the conversion, though. He's going to keep it going in his advantage, though. Gets the dare, uh, with, gets the with dare, and oh. gonna catch the roll in. He's seen some good success here with Ivy, so I think he's gonna stick around. Yeah, I imagine the character that struggles the most in this matchup for Pokemon Trainer would definitely be Charger. Oh, yeah, you're just combo target. Yeah. You're just a big target. And that way, he's like, yeah, 40 foot target? Yeah, I can hit it. So, weird thing about Belmont. Belmont, if he can't get you at the ledge and can't get, you know, his, uh, it's out. He struggles to kill a tiny bit. Oh, man. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, <laughs> Solcer with the two stock. The data from that match. I sir, is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Omnis Grace is thinking a bit about that. Um, even so, I think it's just he was struggling to take that second stock there, and that was really hurting him. Though Solcer was uh, playing the matchup a lot better, yeah. He was doing a good job of creating space. Simon! He made him play the game. Pokemon Trainer! Hmm. Yes, yeah, so uh, going into game two, though. It seems like Omnis Grace. I'm trying to move my chair. <laughs> it seems like Omnis Grace was uh, keeping it really competitive with that Squirtle. A quick 36% off of that Holy Water. Um. Getting the correct reads on what he wants to do as well, handling the withdrawal pretty well. Not in that situation, got hit, but um, even so, the Ivysaur was the thing giving him trouble. So if Omnis Grace can figure out Ivysaur, he can definitely have a good chance at taking this next game. It's, it's, 
it almost seems weird that he's trying to make Squirtle work here while it's very clearly getting blown up. Yeah, no, the Ivysaur is working. Um, the thing is, though, all right, the Ivysaur is coming right, out. it's game time. He definitely doesn't want to have to use only Ivysaur, because that would definitely be problematic. That's not optimal. Oh, jumps into is the Razor Leaf. Though? Is it problematic? Oh, that was a gimp. That doesn't, that doesn't count. Is it, though? Does it? I think it counts. That was great rising uh, fair from Omnis Grace getting the... Uh, what, what's the word? Oh, the Charizard's out there. This might not be as good for me. All right, back to Squirtle. I think we're gonna see. Oh yeah, yeah. Switch to Ivysaur. The, the quick switch to Ivysaur. Like, let me get this quick Ooh, combo. Oh, these combos coming out from Soulsur though. Ominous Grace not having a way to deal with it, but the back air is going to take that stock. So now the Charizard's that. coming out. Eighty-one percent advantage here. I disagree oh, with that. What? That was crazy. And Soulsur agrees by switching immediately to Squirtle. Yeah, but he's getting a lot of percent put on the Ivysaur, though. So, Omnis Grace already bringing this back. He can figure out how to get out of disadvantage here, and then figure out you know what he needs to really do in neutral to deal with his Razor Leaf. He's he has a lot of a lot going for him, but uh, he's struggling a little bit. Gonna get grabs there. Ooh. Great weight from Omnis Grace. Solcer going for something pretty uh pretty crazy though. Also wanted to go for a ride, but mm. that was a really good uh, bait to make Omnis Grace feel like um, he had something there. The Charizard coming out. It has been working all game. Yeah, he was surviving a long time with uh, Ivy Sword. Oh yeah, he's gonna switch there. Yeah, I don't Is know why he switched he, in general. He just, it might have been maybe a history or I don't know. Um, Maybe he thought he would have something. Yeah, he switches back again. Well, that was more for, um... He can definitely survive with Charizard. Oh, uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> if he gets hit by the he Axe can. again. All right, so this is about an even game. Oh, gonna catch the roll with that withdraw. He's in the corner. The Squirtle, definitely gonna be good in disadvantage, uh, in advantage, but never mind, he is doing good. Omnis Grace uh, not playing as clean as he was before. Ooh, the blast hit back here, gonna catch him there. Can't get out of disadvantage. The downside's gonna help him with that. All right, now he's using that uh, up, up, it, up he one, which I think is really good because when Ivysaur is in that position, he likes to jump a lot. You know, land with uh, fair and stuff, which he hasn't been doing. But he goes for the Razor Leaf. That Uppy is going to help him get out of that situation. Uh, Omnis Grace winning, but he's on the ledge. Great use of down to get out of that. Goes to the top platform. Oh, the Nair is going to catch on the way back. And the Uppy. All right, so Solcer.